It's a great day to grow your business. I'm Victor Holman, CEO of Lifecycle Performance Pros, and today I'd like to share with you the top qualities of successful business owners and managers. Over the past 14 years, I've studied successful business owners and managers, and I've documented what makes them successful. What I've learned is no matter what business or industry you're in, there are common qualities that successful business owners share. And if you apply these characteristics into your business, you'll find yourself among the top businesses in your industry. The top qualities of successful executives and businessmen. Number one is judgment. All top executives have to have good judgment. That means they have wisdom acquired through experience and reflection, and they're able to learn from their mistakes. A simple formula to remember is experience plus wisdom equals common sense. And common sense is a great indicator of being able to make good judgment when it comes to your business. Where we get our common sense and our judgment is from our mistakes. You know, risk taking is inherent in your business and that's something you got to know. But it's only when we make mistakes and we learn from them and we develop wisdom, judgment and common sense, we become a successful business person. There's a saying, if you want to be successful, double your failure rate. If you double your failure rate and then you take the time to reflect on each experience, you're guaranteed to get results and you're going to get results fast. See, every business person or someone who wants to go into business, they make mistakes. They're going to make tons and tons of mistakes. But one of the greatest tragedies that a lot of unsuccessful business people do is they go from one business to another, from one job to another. They learn different skills. They learn different things. They fail maybe, but they don't learn from their mistakes. They don't take the time to understand exactly what it was that caused their failure so that next time they wouldn't repeat that action. And successful business owners simply are the opposite. They make mistakes, just like unsuccessful business owners, but for each mistake they make, they learn from it. They understand what was the reason for it, and they make sure they don't make it again. And by each of these different experiences and taking the time to learn from them, you're going to become a solid business person. You're going to become somebody that eventually starts a successful business, but more importantly, can continue to build more successful businesses if you ever needed to. Something I've recently started doing is for every bad experience that I have, I write down what was the lesson learned. I try to understand exactly what I learned from this mistake, and that helps me make sure that I don't make mistakes like that again. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? What would I do differently next time? Because the more that you evaluate your performance, the more you think about what is done, the, um, the smarter that you become. And then when you discuss your experiences and your knowledge with other people, the more that knowledge becomes programmed in your subconscious, and then the more rapidly you're going to learn it, and you're, the quicker you're going to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So judgment is pretty much having the experiences as much as you can and extracting every lesson from those experiences. Number two is foresight. Foresight is the ability to see the big picture, to be able to stand back and see things clearly and Here's the key to success in any economic venture that you want to go into, and it's the, the examination of secondary consequences. When planning any venture, you got to ask yourself, what will be the secondary consequence of this action? What will happen as a result of me doing this? So always ask yourself, what could possibly happen? And one reason, one thing for success is asking yourself the most important question is what is the worst possible secondary consequence of what I'm doing? And then say, what can I do to make sure that that doesn't happen? And that's just basic risk identification and risk mitigation, but you know, it's very important to success. The next thing is leadership. That's the ability to elicit extraordinary performance from your ordinary people and there's many factors in leadership but the most important factor of leadership is to get excited if you can get excited about what you're doing if you become enthusiastic about what you're doing you're going to be amazed at how much the people around you are going to become excited and become enthusiastic and they're going to become higher performance performers so one thing I've learned is excitement is contagious, and the more that you can show that you're excited for your employees and your staff, the more that they're going to respond in a positive way. It's been proven in many studies, and there's many people you can ask anybody who has a successful business. They can tell you the exact same. So, you know, always remember, give the credit away. All great leaders give the glory away. You never hear the great leader saying, I, I, and me, me. They always say, they, they, and we, we. Uh, the next important factor is communication. 
Uh, communication is critical to success. It means the ability to get your point across. It's the ability to convey what you're trying to say to your employees in a way that they understand. Now, there's three areas where you need to communicate well. Area number one is speaking one-on-one -on -one to other people. Area two is you got to be able to communicate well on paper. you got to be able to write well. And area number three is you got to be able to communicate while standing up in front of a group of people and talking to several other people about what you're trying to do. One thing that I've learned that you must remember, so remember this, success in life is largely dependent on your ability to communicate well or the number of words that you know that you can be able to put together to communicate effectively to a large range of an audience. There are statistics that show that the number of words that you know is directly related to the amount of income that you make in general. You know, it's very important to learn that learning more words, always expanding your vocabulary will make you a better, a better communicator and will make you more successful whether you're starting a business or whether you're trying to grow within your business. And one of the ways that you can dr dramatically one way you can increase your vocabulary is simply just making it a habit that any time you find a word that you don't know, that you go on to your little phone or whatever, you get on a, some kind of website of a dictionary, and then you find out what that word means. And every time you come across a word you don't know, you look up that word. Or even better, maybe look up the thesaurus and find out what are different ways that you can communicate those words. And this seems very basic and it seems maybe monotonous or you may feel like, hey, look, I've spoken English for years and years. I don't need to learn more words. But just remember that statistic that simply the more words that you know in general is a direct reflection of the amount of income that you make. They say the average human adult learns five new words a year. I mean, just think about that, just five new words a year. So if you make it a habit to try to learn maybe a new word a day, you will. And they, they also say that every new word that you learn that helps you associate with 10 new words. So as you're building this vocabulary, Really quickly, you can definitely extend it exponentially and increase your path to success. And it's a simple theory that the more words that you actually know, the better thinker that you become. You're able to think a lot quicker on your feet because more words are coming at your mind at one time. You're not struggling to try to figure out the best way to say something. The next key to success or quality is sales ability. And that is the ability to persuade and influence a customer, your clients, your employees, your potential partners. The simple truth is people who are successful business, they must be able to persuade people. They must be very good at selling. They must be able to get their point across to selling their ideas to other people, selling bankers on proposals, selling suppliers on the need for credit, uh, selling their customers that they need to buy it. And the number one reason entrepreneurs fail is because they're shy about selling. They're afraid of selling. They say, well, you know, I don't need to sell. I can go hire somebody else who can sell. But the simple fact is there's nobody on the planet that is more capable of selling your product than you are. There's nobody that's more passionate about it. There's nobody that knows more about it than you. So clearly, you have to be able to sell. And if you don't know how to, you better, you know, take the actions to learn. It's very simple. It's, it's no different than riding a bike or learning how to cook. You figure out what it is you have to do, then you repeat. You become repetitive. You get better and better each time you do it until it becomes a natural action for you and it becomes something that you do in your everyday life. is very easy for you. It's something that becomes a part of your psyche. And that's what the most successful entrepreneurs, the most successful salespeople are like. They love to sell. And just so you know, most of them, start off as bad sellers. Not many people are natural sellers, but they all can develop the skills. I've coached many shy people, people who were afraid to coach, to sell, but they developed those skills, they developed those competence, and they did it because they knew that it was the price that they had to pay. It, they were uneasy, they didn't like to cold call, they didn't like to make telephone apartment appointments, they didn't like knocking on doors, they didn't like making presentations. You know, they didn't like doing any of that stuff, but they knew in order to be successful, to be their own boss, they have to be able to sell their own product or service. And if they can't sell their own product or service, they're enslaved or they're entrapped to the person who's, who can. And then they're no longer free. They're no longer their own bosses. They're the, the boss of them is the person who sells their products or services better than them because the success of their business, of your business, is on the people who can sell. So you've got to be able to be a top seller. All right, so let's recap. There are several qualities of successful business owners. Among them, every successful business owner executes good judgment. They learn how to double their failure rate so they can yield quicker gains. 
They know that they should document lessons learned so they can avoid those mistakes in the future. Successful business owners focus on the big picture. They understand what the secondary consequences are of all of their decisions. They learn to practice strong leadership. They give credit to others where credit's due. And every successful business owner is a great communicator. Now, if you can apply these qualities and implement them into your business, very quickly you'll start to see you'll becoming a successful business owner. If you enjoyed this video, then join my Business Mastery Insider Secrets Club. There you'll have access to all my business mastery systems, over a thousand business strategy videos, over a hundred hours of business mastery university courses. You'll access my 10 business assessment tools, my 12 business planning tools, the small business makeover, the 120 day performance challenge, the six month internet blueprint, thousands of business articles, over 700 business templates, and over a hundred of my favorite business strategy ebooks. All of this for just $29 a month for a limited time. So join now.